Yo, what up, my boys? Back with another video. So today I want to talk about content EA dropped on a Saturday. Um, how that's gonna how this gonna affect the market and how the market is gonna move over the next couple of days. And I also want to show you guys cars I traded with and cars you guys can buy and trade as well. Cars that kind of got a lot of demand, right? Like with link investments and all that type of stuff. So let's go over the content. It was kind of a non-tent, right? Like we had a couple of SPCs, but EA only dropped this 85 player pick. So there's not really anything that brought the market down significant. So there wasn't really like there was opportunities to buy cars, but it wasn't like panic, right? It wasn't a massive SPC. Normally we need like icon SPCs, like player picks, like just massive big SPCs. This is not gonna cut it. So there wasn't a lot of movement of the market. There was some low fluctuations, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute, but other than other than content, when, uh, when it comes to like SPCs, it was just this 85 player pick. But EA did release a couple of EVA plays. So we have to go to Fitbin for this. So they dropped the Walker, right? They dropped a bunch of EVOs if we go here. But the main guy was Walker. We can go here real quick. Popular. So the main guy was was Walker, and I think everybody's just gonna do Walker. I don't think a lot of people are gonna do other players. That there, there was a Jolington, but other than that, it was just this. Dumfries might be the man. He kind of looks good. Charmany, we have seen him already. But yeah, I think mass majority of people are gonna do Walker. So just of this, I would not buy Rybacks, right? Just of this, like I wouldn't trade Rybacks anymore, but. Other than that, like you got Dumfries and a uh, Walker, people already do too many. Other than that, I think you, I don't think any other other card are that demanded. Turam, yeah, maybe stay away from Cians, but other than that, I think you're chilling. You got Sakaria, yeah, you're chilling. So that was it for the Evo. They also dropped mini release plays and they dropped Hernandez as an SPC. They dropped this Hernandez for 102k. They dropped the Dumfries. They dropped this Kent. I think this guy is going to have the, uh, a lot of demand. And they also dropped Berardi. Yeah, he was mini release as well. So that was it for content, right? Let's now go over back to FIFA and show you guys what I've been trading with. Um, basically, it's a lot of icons. I've been, I've been flipping a lot of icons. Oh, my days. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button, my boys. So yeah, I've been flipping a lot of icons. Um, yeah, some Smeichel, some Claws. This Claws was beautiful to trade, but it's gonna be tricky now that he's gonna have. Um, now that he's gonna have. Uh, uh, now there is a Ryback Evil, right? I've been buying him up for two hundred k. I bought this for like two thirty, and I flipped it for two sixty. So a cheeky twenty k profit. I bought all these icons like in Panic and sh and those type of things. I wouldn't. Tr By the way. I didn't show it, but also there's a lot of goalkeepers icons, so stay away from goalkeepers, goalkeepers as well. But other than that, I didn't really do crazy things. I made like 15 to 20k per card here, so I bought a Foden um, for the hype of Walker, but he didn't do that crazy. I think I bought him for like 145k, so not really much money made there. But my boys, let's go over to Fitbit. I want to show you guys cards that you guys can trade and cards you guys can pick up, right? Over the next couple of days. So. What I've noticed on the market is that expensive cars are starting to trend. And with trending, I mean, they're starting to go up. People are starting to buy expensive cars. These were stuck for like a long time, but they're finally moving. And I think it might be the time of the year that people start to buy these cars. Because like, look, if we look into the past, like, ah, let me zoom, out the, zoom, out, zoom in a little bit. If we see though, there was fluctuations here, but it was a massive, right? Like 620 to like 640, like not big, like no fluctuations where you can make money, right? And if we think about this, I think we have seen a cheap point on this market last Tuesday, the panic of winter wildcard, right? And after this, the market is just booming. Cause look, this guy went from 550 to 650k and that's a massive fluctuation right if you combine if you come if you think about this like these guys were that for the longest so this is great news for us this means we can trade the most expensive cards and i'm going to show you guys every single card that i like and got demand and that you guys can trade 
right? So once again, every single time you see this Van Dijk on a low fluctuation, I would hop on it and I would start trading him. Because look, I tipped him in my Discord. I tipped him for like under 580, I think. And if you if if the if people in the Discord bought, they already they already breaking even. So I do think he goes back to like 630, 620. So I think those guys that bought are gonna make a, a decent amount of coins, like 15 to 20k per card. So and we already see, by the way. He was low at 590 and he's already rebounding. So there's high demand for expensive cards. And we're going to keep going. It's also Bakioka Bak Sak of uh, Saka. Saka is still cheap. My boys, look. Same exact thing. This guy was 630 yes uh, yesterday during the panic. He was 650, went to 680, went back to 630, and went back to 695. And my boys, all these fluctuations, he got big enough snipes. You can make money, right? If you buy him, let's say you buy him over here for 630, which is really doable. The tax is around 35k, and he goes to 685. You make around like 20k profit, right? Then he goes back to like 630. One second. Yeah, you got the right screen. Then he goes back to 630, and he bounces back to 700k. All these fluctuations, you guys can make money. If you bought him over here for like 620, and he goes to 690, you make around like 40k profit per card, right? And then today he just stayed high. So there's high, basically high demand for mo the more expensive cars. Like cars, I would say above like 400k. Some cheaper cars do well as well. Like for example, this Marquinhos. I've been trading this Marquinhos a lot, right? Like you buy him in low fluctuates like this. You bought him for, like I bought him here for like 640, and he rose all the way to like 680. I sold him for 685. And then he like he goes low again, like right over here, 660. And look at the price right now, 693. So let's say you bought him over here for 650. Tax is around 15k. Um, that covers up like six six two sixty-five. So everything after that is profit. So if you went to like 93k, you make around 20k per card on these Marquinhos. And that's kind of how you trade, my boys. You just follow the demand. Same with this graph, but he's a little bit cheaper. But he shows ultimate demand. I tipped him in the Discord early for like six. I tipped him a little bit too low. I wanted him for six fifty because one thing about these cards, once they drop, you could see big undercuts. But as you can see, man, this guy is just booming, right? Like yesterday as well. This guy went from six hundred and eleven k all the way to like six hundred and thirty, and today he's like even going higher. So the the like let's say the mid tier and the more expensive cards are absolutely flying out of the sky. Um, let's look into the Sam Kerr. What happened over here? So she went from 330 to 360. That went to 330. How did she do yesterday? She's not even doing that well. Yeah, she just fluctuated 360. You could trade her. I do think she's going to go back to 360. She's kind of cheap as well. So she isn't really sure. She's not really that demanded as the other players, but you can definitely make some coins here, right? You buy him for three. Let's say you snipe him here for 320. You sell him for like 360. You make like 20k as well, right? So there is money. It's not as crazy as the other ones. The other ones are actually rising. This one is just fluctuating loads, right? Let's look at this Fran. Also an expensive card. Is for uh, Fran, I don't think is Impex. Yeah, look at this, my boys. 470. And right now it's 570. And as a time span of two days, my boys, Wednesday, today is Saturday. That's literally like four days up like 100K. So the expensive cards are absolutely booming in price. And if you look into the fluctuations, 540, like 580, that's 40K profit. Tax is around 20, 30K. So if you got some nice undercuts, easy to make like 20 to 30K profit, right? Um, like once here again, 516 went to 570, my boys. That was yesterday. So the, the expensive cars are exploding out of their mind. So it's all about getting the undercuts, right? Look, let's say you buy here on the undercut, 550. You snipe it for five, let's say five, 550. Depending on the supply, you buy him for like under 540. And he goes all the way to 550, 585. Once again, sweet profit. So it's all about getting these undercuts, right? And, and just go crazy on snipes. Go crazy on snipes. Like here again, 540 today. So he could have been a pickup today. I did a post. Oh, he's still low, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on this. He's kind of rebounding back in price because he was 540. But 
if this drops again, I'm definitely going to try trying to snipe off like 530, maybe even like 530, like a little bit over, but closer to that 530 range because I do think this guy's going to go back to 580. He might even go higher. He might even go to like 590. <laughs> Let's look into the lazies. Yeah, I think he's going to hit 590. So as you can see, if you sell it for 590, you make like, you cover like 30 get tax. So right now, he is he is cheap. He is cheap. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that um, on this Rafael Ferran. I need him a little bit cheaper because the tax is so high. But he is definitely in the buy, buying range, right? So same with this Musiala. I tipped him in the Discord as well. And I tipped him for 640, I think. No, 650, I think. So, and once again, look at this. 650, and he went all the way to 710. So, and early today, he was 635. This guy's literally up almost 100K in one day. Earlier today, he was 630K. And right now, he's already above 700K. So, the expensive cars are absolutely flying. And um, what I kind of want to talk about is... What's going to happen with the market over the next couple of days? In my opinion, with rises like this, I think this market is just going to rise. I personally think we hit the time of the year, like kind of new. It normally happens around New Year's, Christmas, like there's a lot of people getting coins, a lot of people opening packs, a lot of people save packs, didn't get coin injections. All those people right now are opening their packs and they're building teams right a guy that saved back for like a month this might be a big reason why this why this game was like stuck for a long time nobody was opening packs no packs open means no coin uh, boots right now people are just opening packs they want to play with the new cars we got a lot of new demanded cars a lot of people are free from work and school a lot of people jumping on the game to buy teams and we see that back into the market. It's the high the market is absolutely boosting up, right? And I just showed you guys every card you guys want to look into. Also, we're going back to the Evo. Also, more cards you guys can trade with, right? Basically. This is going to be important as well. This Walker got a lot of demand as an Evo. So what's going to happen? Over time, the link investments are going to start to rise as well and fluctuate the trend as well. So we can talk about like somebody like Guardiola. Right? Guardio got a lot of hype. He got a lot of demand. And in combination with, with, with Walker, if you see this guy on a low fluctuation, I think that's buy time. Right? Like he went like he went from 145 to like 160. So let's say over like the next couple of hours, let's say after midnight, this guy goes on a low fluctuation just like this, or just or like, like something like this, right? What just what could happen out of the blue, right? That with a rise like this and demand of Walker, because like this is a, this is what I mean with a rebound. If you see a rebound on a like a, a dip on a card like this, a low fluctuation on a card like this, and this is what I mean with the fluctuation. In my opinion, as long as EA doesn't drop any cent to the back as an Evo or SPC, you can buy this, right? As long as the hype continues, like the reason. If you guys remember the clause I was trading with, the big reason why this clause was working with trades. Is simply because people were doing Kola Moani. Because of Kola Moani, this guy had a lot of demand. And he kept rising every single day. People, people kept buying him back. Because he had a lot of initial demand with Kola Moani. The same thing is going to happen with Walker. Because people constantly going to do Walker. And they're going to link place to that Walker. So with that, you can safely trade Walker links, right? As long as they don't got Evos or SPCs. So, and that's why I was trading a lot of um, Claws. And that's why this guy just boomed the price for the next couple. Like, think about this. Let's 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 pretend this is Guardio over the next couple of hours, right? Guardio of a uh, Guardio rose big time in the night. But guess what happened? He dropped again. He went from 260 to 247, right? And then he went back, like he went to 236 on a low fluctuation and rebounded back to 256. If you get a massive snipe on this. You're already making coins on these low fluctuations, right? Here again. Like it's 240. Let's say you snipe him like 15k under the price. You make like decent money, right? And it's all about lasers as well. Like the graph doesn't tell the whole story. Because look, 
I showed mine for 260 and I sniped it for like, let's see if the, yeah, I, I showed mine here for 260 and I sniped it for like 230, right? So it's all about getting these big snipes and lazy selling for the right price, as you guys can see. So that's what you, that's how you guys can trade over the next couple of days. Stay with these expensive cards and follow the demand. Also Marquinhos. I traded Marquinhos also with Kola Moani. Bottom for 260. Now bottom, when did I buy? I bought him yesterday. In this low fluctuation, I know Kola Moani got a lot of hype. So boom, he bounced right back up to 280. And I'm going to continue to trade with this guy because Kola Moani still got a lot of hype. But you guys can use the same logic with the Walker links. So Guardio, um, all, the, all the Walker links, they should work and they should fluctuate a lot because people constantly buy and sell and that creates fluctuation. So hopefully you guys had something about this. Make sure to like this video. I'm out. Peace.